Where the hell is my stuff? Jesus Christ, Kevin, Jesus! I'm... Your stuff? Yeah, my, my stuff, what? Oh! You mean your junk! Listen, no. Kevin, I took your junk and I crafted it into something greater. Listen, now that we live together, Kevin, we have access to the workbench. And when I have access to the workbench, I could take this plastic bag and this box of Triscuits and I throw it into the machine. Shotgun shells, Kevin! Shotgun shells! It's great! Why do we need shotgun shells? For the shotgun, Kevin! Keep up! What the hell? And if I take this can of beans that I stole from your pantry hey. and your brake lines and I throw it into the machine... Did you see my brake lines? Rotisserie chicken, Kevin! It's a rotisserie chicken! We'll never oh. have to cook again! Oh, that looks really good. Ow! Keep up, Kevin! Hey, please, because no. the reason why I did this is because... If I take all, all, this, all these Diet Coke cans and I throw it into this machine, what? no one will know I have a Diet Coke addiction, Kevin. It's so great. Also, it creates this video. Huh. It's funny because I'm all loud and agitated about some super minor issue in a video game. Okay, I get it. Diet Coke diet video. That, that makes sense. What if we just try making a video with regular Coke? Fallout 4 is a post-apocalyptic RBG made by Bethesda Game Studios. I'm Todd Howard, which you may know as the Game Studio, which brought you such a game as Skyrim. Skyrim Special Edition. Skyrim Special Edition for the Switch. It Arguably their most famous. Uh, IHRA Drag Racing. 2005. Bet you guys didn't see that one coming, did you? It has taken me five years to beat this game. And the reasoning for that is strictly, it's a matter of principle. It's a matter of honor. It's a matter that I'm willing to let my soldiers die for, for the right for me to change my mind at a later date when it suits another argument that will completely contradict this one. And that reason, He's coming to you right after I explain the plot. You see, you start the game obsessing about some little kid named Sean, and then all of a sudden, it's some guy knocks on your door, and he's like, da bada bing, bada boom, I'm in a trench coat, probably a pedophile. Uh, you have any kids, ma'am or madam? And you're like, oh, golly gee, I happen to have kids, and uh, they, they happen to be living. And the guy in the trench coat's like, well, fuck, it, the place is about to blow up, so why don't we go freeze you guys? Cool. And you wake up in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. What do you have to do in this post-apocalyptic wasteland? That is easy because what you gotta do is stumble out the door, you kill some bandits, you make a settlement, and then you run around all over the fucking wasteland for about 30 hours asking people where Sean is. And let me tell you, this is the most unrealistic part of the game because they, have you ever tried asking someone where Sean is in real life? Because, uh, good luck trying to get an answer. Do you know where I can find the railroad? Do you know where Sean is? No. Do you know where I can find Sean? I don't know, but there's plenty of Sean's walking around. <laughs> And then after you go around the wasteland and learn the daily routines where this kid lives and when his parents are gonna be out of town, you go and build a teleporter to teleport into this kid's room in the middle of the night. And the next thing you know, you, you realize you were catfished by an FBI agent. You win some, you lose some. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, I am... An FBI agent! Well... This is awkward. At least I think that's what happened. One second you're killing raiders, next second there's a giant battle between everybody in the game. I don't know, because I was more concerned with the fact that no one would sit in the chair I bought with hard-earned USD off the Creation Club. Somebody, just take a seat. Please, please, I'm begging. Hey, Mr. Cal, you got two head means you got two brains, so it's a no-brain that you need to take a seat right here. I am so over this game. I don't want to play this game. Take a seat. I don't want to play this game. I don't want to be egotistical, but we gotta we got just be truthful here and admit that the, the chair arc that I wrote is one of the best story arcs of all time. Of all time! But anyway, I say all this to bring us to the single question which has led to the creation of this video, and that question is... What the fuck was the point of settlements? 
In Fallout 4, there's a thing called settlements, and settlements are just like cities, where you have houses, people, trade, shops. But instead of using that, you said, Fuck all that shit. I'm gonna build my own city with blackjack. It, 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 two, three, two, three, headed, the cow, pro, pre, cow bull things, whatever, whatever they are. I, I don't know. But here's the thing. You do that in the first 30 minutes of the game. I mean, you literally kill some bandits and a bunch of people come up and they're like, Oh, golly, oh, gee, you seem like a swell feller who just brutally annihilated like 20 bandits like a psychopath. But golly gee, maybe you should be the leader of this settlement that we're about to make. So, you make a settlement, and guess what happens? You go fuck off around the wasteland for 30 plus hours! You wanna know why you're fucking off around the wasteland? Uh, maybe because, I don't know. Maybe because you're supposed to be finding your fucking son! Your son's in the- your son's in the fucking wasteland. He's out there, and the game wants you to make a settlement. 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 It's in the fucking word. And maybe this would be excusable if this was like, I don't know, an integral part of the game. But, integral part of the game it is not, because with a quick little Google search, I was able to ascertain the correct answer. As you can see here, I Google searched for, can you play Fallout 4 without settlements? And the answer was yes. But I know exactly what you guys are about to say. You're saying, but Hayden, there's a mod for that. In which case, uh, well, you're right. Just like I'm right about there being a mod to turn Oblivion into a Japanese tentacle sex game. Maybe it's better for me just to say I don't, I don't know what mods are. Let's... Just because somebody out there created a mod which fixes the game that you should most definitely be using to play doesn't mean that I'm smart enough to understand how to download and install them. So my criticism is still valid. Are you expecting me to believe that while I'm looking for my son who's in a wasteland full of psychopaths, super mutants, and it's spacey, I have enough time to settle down, build farms which take seasons to harvest from, houses that take months to build, walls that take years to construct, and most importantly, we're talking about fashion which takes decades to perfect. That's like if Dead Rising had you play Multi-Coon halfway through and try to create a thriving business. I mean, are you kidding me? And you know what? As I stand over this settlement that I've just constructed, I know for a fact that I speak for me and every other YouTuber on this platform when I say that settlements don't make sense because it breaks my immersion. Mailman, what the fuck is anyone home? Uh, Do we have a uh yeah. one sec? Uh green screen goblin? Anyone? Who's there? Uh uh the mailman. I didn't know mailman st still exists. Um yeah, I'm a remnant of the USPS and I got some some mail for you. Uh just like before the apocalypse, there's no way I'm coming all the way up there to deliver it to you, so I'll just read it. I'm gonna read I, it. I, I'm gonna start. Yeah, okay. sure, just read the letter. It says, Dear Hayden, you are wrong. With much hatred, everyone else on YouTube. Okay, that's that's good. Thank you. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, there's more. Oh. P.S. You are an entire butthead. Can you, is that really, is that what it said? Oh, yeah. Also, I've just gotten word that another settlement is in need of our help. 